I am honored to be standing in front of you and telling you about my SMIC journey. My name is Zainab Agdas Rizvi and I'm a proud member of the class of 2018. In the audience are my parents, Mama and Baba, and my two younger brothers, Muhammad and Ali. And they're visiting Smith for the first time from Karachi, Pakistan. I'm the first person in my family to go to college abroad, and I would not be standing here today without their unwavering support throughout these four years. I had never visited the United States before applying to colleges, so reputation and word of mouth played a major role in deciding where to apply. At my high school's career fair, I spoke with Sharmeen Obed Chinoy, class of 2002, also here today, and she encouraged me to consider Smith when I expressed an interest in storytelling and journalism. She told me about Smith's curriculum that encourages taking classes in a variety of different disciplines. Soon after, I decided to apply early decision. Little did I know that I would fully explore so many diverse options in the curriculum and go from English to double majoring in computer science and statistical and data sciences. <laughs> I still remember the moment I received my acceptance letter. It was in the middle of the night in Karachi, and I had not slept a wink in anticipation of the decision. I logged into the admissions portal and then ran upstairs to my parents to wake them up and to tell them the good news. The excitement, however, came with anxiety. I knew I wouldn't be able to attend Smith without a generous scholarship. I distinctly remember getting on a phone call with the head of student financial services, David Belanger, at 3 a.m. in Karachi to discuss the specifics of my family's financial situation. A few weeks later, I received the second piece of good news, an adjusted financial aid package that would make it possible for me and my family to be able to afford a Smith education. When I arrived here for my first semester, I had already picked out four writing intensive courses to be on track for the English major. <laughs> my liberal arts advisor said to me, Zana, I think you should try at least one STEM course to diversify your course load a little. Too frightened by the hard sciences and the long labs, I decided to take the introduction to computer science course. I found it thrilling and even oddly empowering to write computer programs that would make little fish bounce on my screen. <laughs> Through the support of tutors, faculty, and peers, I was able to overcome my fear of the sciences and do well in my first STEM class at Smith. As part of my work-study position, I was a peer advisor at the Lazarus Center for Career Development, Students around me were getting accepted to internships ranging from startups to world-class research labs, while I still couldn't decide on a major. But soon, these students began to inspire me. I began to wonder if I could apply for one of these amazing and terrifying opportunities. I applied for an internship at a financial firm in New York City, and when I was accepted for the technology summer analyst position, I got the confidence to challenge myself and commit to computer science as my major. During my sophomore year, I was inspired to help the community do more to address the wide gender gap that currently exists in technology. And so with the support of my advisor, Professor Nick Howe, I started the Northampton chapter of Girls Who Board, a national movement to introduce schoolgirls to computer science. I 
also became a computer science teaching assistant here on campus, which gave me the opportunity to interact with other Smithies who were also considering the major. Last summer, I was ecstatic when I was selected to intern with Google in Mountain View, California. <laughs> However, my excitement was clouded by nervousness about ongoing immigration issues and work visa restrictions for foreign nationals. I'm grateful for Sydney Davis at Google, class of 2008. <laughs> who allayed my city, star, and alumni, where they go out of their way to help each other when unexpected situations arise. I remember walking into the office of Professor Jordan Krauser, class of 2008. <laughs> One day, my junior year, saying that I have suddenly realized that I wanted to go to graduate school for computer science. I knew I was behind schedule as I didn't have any research experience, but he encouraged me to maximize the time I had remaining at Smith. He supervised my special studies where we analyzed bias in the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, and he gave me the individual attention I would not have received at any other institution. I went on to do an honors thesis with Professor Joseph O'Rourke in computational geometry my senior year, which has been one of my most fulfilling academic experiences at Smith. The access to undergraduate research allowed me to work in two very different but interdisciplinary fields. This summer, I will be working as a research assistant at UPenn before joining full-time as a software engineer at Google. 